What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video, I want to talk about why I think silver stacking isn't popular. Thank you so much for watching my video. I sincerely appreciate it. This one is on silver stacking and why I think it isn't very popular right now. Now, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing because I got a lot of really awesome silver related content coming out. But this one is on why I think it's not very popular. Now, I might have a different take on this than most of the people that do stack silver. Now, I am a silver stacker myself. I like to buy silver. I have bought a lot of it over the course of the last year. But I wanna talk about why I think it's not very popular right now. Uh, one of the main reasons why I think it's not popular is because the price is low. Now, this might seem kind of silly to some of you out there, uh, if the price is low, then wouldn't that make it more popular? Wouldn't that make it a better buy? And you're right. But because the price is low, that means the dollar is very strong. And when the dollar is very strong, usually the economy is doing well and lots of people like to put their money in stocks. So I think a lot of people are putting their money into stocks or playing the stock market and that is why they're not buying silver and gold right now. So that's one reason why I think it's not popular. Uh, but that's with the people that already have money, right? What about the people that don't have any money or have very little money? Why aren't they buying silver? Well, maybe they don't know about precious metals. Um, I would say for my generation, I am a millennial. I'm only 28 years old. But I would say for my generation, most of them don't know about money, they don't know about what real money is. Um, the, all they know is fiat currency and cryptocurrencies. Uh, mainly because cryptocurrencies are new and they have been in the news a lot. So a lot of millennials or younger crowd, they would choose to keep their money in fiat, the money that they have, they put it in just a savings account or they don't know what to do with it. Um, or they'll put their money into something like a cryptocurrency which those are so extremely volatile, it's really easy to lose a lot of money doing that if you don't know what you're doing. Or even if you do know what you're doing, it's still easy to lose a lot of money in cryptos. Um, but the thing with silver is just a lot of younger people don't even know that stuff like this exists. They don't even know that you can go out and buy stuff like this. This isn't in the news. The only way you'd ever see something like this is if you had... Uh, maybe someone show you like a grandparent or something like that. But even then, it's pretty rare for people to tell others that they have silver and precious metals because that would put a target on their back. Uh, but maybe if it's your grandpa or something, maybe he'll show you uh, some silver like an American Silver Eagle. And you think, oh, that's kind of cool. That was probably cool back in your day, Pops. But um, it's not really cool anymore, you know? I mean, kids just don't really find this stuff super um, exciting. I do find it exciting and I love all the different designs and everything. I mean, all the series you can collect. Look at this one. This just recently came out from New A. It's the Clone Trooper from Star Wars and it looks super awesome. And I was so excited when I was able to go pick this up. So uh, this stuff does get me excited, but a lot of people, uh, younger kids, it doesn't. So We've talked about sort of the younger kids, maybe they don't know about it, or maybe they they just don't have any interest in it. But what about the middle-aged people that have bought silver and gold in the past? Well, maybe they're not heavy stackers. Maybe they tried to buy some of it, it didn't really go up or down, it went sideways for a while, or maybe it went down in price a little bit, and they sold. Well... That's sort of a, a mistake in my mind. I think you should hold it until it either gains value or if you bought it at a point where you didn't have money to buy it, then maybe you should have just waited and actually saved that money in fiat and paid your bills and everything, had a little bit of a buffer and then start buying silver. So I, you know, I think that is pretty lame for some people that got into it and then got out of it really quick. This is more of a long-term, uh, definitely hedge against inflation. Uh, but I think there are some other reasons why it's not super popular. Uh, silver doesn't get a lot of time in the news. 
uh, in fact, gold gets much more time in the news that I've seen. If you just watch uh, any sort of news channel, it's very rare that either of the precious metals will show up, but if one of them does, I can almost guarantee it's gonna be gold. Uh, a lot of the general public, they know gold is money, and they don't, I mean, they know about silver, but they don't really see silver as money uh, the same way that they think about gold. But it absolutely is money, and it does change in price like gold does. Uh, but silver is also used for a lot of things that gold can't be used for. So that's one reason why I think silver is very, very cool as well. But many people probably just don't know it. Uh, their cell phones that they love to buy and play on have silver in them. A lot of people don't know that. But anyway, I just had a couple thoughts on why I think silver isn't popular. Um, I am a millennial, so I think I have a little bit different of a take on it. And so I wanted to uh, bring those up. But I'm curious what you think. Why isn't silver popular right now? Why aren't people going out there and buying silver? The price is extremely low. Uh, anyway, definitely leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Silver Dragons, out.